What's going on everyone? Burbank Aviation here and welcome back to another video. Today we have another unboxing for you guys. Haven't done one of these in a little while. It's been a couple weeks. Um, but we got a nice unboxing today. Three models, uh, including one model from Christmas right here. Um, three models that I'm super excited to get into. Only one of these, which is the Christmas model. The Delta Ewinson 5 there on the right is a duplicate. The other two are new models entirely for me. Super excited to get them both by NG. So, super excited to get them. Uh, the box, a new one, or at least one that I haven't ordered in quite some time. Diecast Airplane Store. I was getting these models from Panda Fox Toys, Midwest Model Store. Um, I haven't really been doing anything over the past couple of weeks, it seems. I haven't been getting new stuff in. Um, it's odd. I emailed them about two weeks, three weeks back. They haven't gone back to me. So, got them from Diecast Airplane Store this time. I do, like, ordering from them. They always have a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Um, only complaint I really have is the fact that sh there are shipping costs, but it's shipped from Asia, so I understand where they're getting it at. But, um, that's, I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's... Super nice to have. It will be super nice to have all three of these models. The Delta Ensign 5 just be nice to have a duplicate. If I was going to have a duplicate of a model, one of the higher ones up on the chain is this Delta Ensign 5 as they're super common. Other two can be great additions, filling in some nice, uh, some gaps needed to be filled. Um, so that's going to be super, super awesome right there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And anyways, let's just get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with this Delta E-175 right here. Um, did get another one of these back about, I think we did this unboxing about two weeks ago, I want to say, maybe three. Um, it's a very nice model. It's much needed. The only thing I do have to complain about is the mold is a little bit off, but it's still very awesome to have. Much needed uh, thing to have, so it's super awesome to be able to get this. Um... Let's just take it out of the wrapping right here. The Delta E175 and lower my tripod just a little bit here. Um, try and get it all evened out. Yeah, it's about even right there. Uh, so here is the Delta E175. Very nice, very nice model right here. Uh, quite a few things to go over. I'm going to start right here in the front. Uh, we got the cockpit windows right there. The Sky Team logo. The front landing gear. The main boarding door right there. The Delta logo. The Delta connection. Text right there with the engine right there. We got the um, advanced winglets right there. The American flag. The registration November 274. Sierra Yankee. The back boarding door. The Delta text on the tail. The horizontal stabilizers. Flip around to the other side. Fairly similar. Just to get that in the glitch right there. There we go. Uh, Delta text on the tail. Or the Delta logo on the tail, sorry. Um, horizontal stabilizer. Back catering door. 274 Sierra Yankee. American flag. Got the baggage bay right there. Uh, horizontal. Er, I can't, why did I try and say horizontal stabilizer? Um, enhanced winglets. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Enhanced winglets. Um, the engine right there, Delta logo, Delta connection right there, the main, um, baggage door, or not baggage door, sorry, catering door right there, another baggage door right there, though, uh, front landing gear, cockpit, windows, sky team, um, so that's about it, very nice model right here, by Gemini Jets, like I said, not a big fan of the mold, but I still do think it is absolutely worth having two of these as um very, very common. They fly almost anywhere you can think of that gets. If you get Delta Mainline, you most likely get Delta Evenson 5s. If not, uh, the Delta CRJ 900 is what you do get. And that is the next biggest thing I think I really need to get here for Delta Airlines. That and then an A220-300. Uh, is the next biggest thing I need to get out to the 220-100s. Uh, so an AT-2300, though, is probably my next pickup. Uh, we're going to set this off to the side real quick, and 
we're gonna get on over to the second box or the box I should say right here so we got two models in here we're gonna take out the bubble wrap I have not ordered them in a while so the first model we do have I'll try and slide this out the bubble wrap, bubble wrap very very carefully Come on, baby. There we go. Right there. Alright, so the first model we have here is the Delta A320 by NG Models. Remember, 320 Uniform Sierra. Um, so that's the first model I got. Very excited to have that model. It's gonna be that's gonna be very much needed uh, along with the other model that I got here by NG Models, and that is the Delta E319 by NG Models. So two uh, Airbus aircraft here by NG Models here for Delta. Much needed gaps filled uh, here for Delta. So I'm super glad I got those. The um, Delta E20 is a U.S. Airways previously owned aircraft known from the 320 Uniform Sierra. You can tell by the registration. Uh, the A319, November 301, November Bravo. Um, I don't think that was Northwest. I'm not sure if that was a company that was bought out by Delta or just anything else. Actually, I don't know if Delta got any of the aircraft from U.S. Airways. I know American got, I think, most of them, if not all of them. Um, so these two aircraft very much needed. We're gonna start right here with the Athan 19 as this is the smaller aircraft. Uh, very excited. Hopefully these are not broken. I haven't gotten in a broken model in a while. Um, so far looks good. Got another one of these uh, cards here for NG models. Um, the rewards collector plan. I don't know what's going on with that. That was supposed to come out over a year ago. Email them. They just said it's like finishing touches being worked on. That was back in May of 2023. Here we are, 2024. Nothing has changed. No info re regarding if it's actually going to happen, when it's going to happen. None of that stuff. Um, glad to see the model isn't broken, which is super awesome. We'll set that down real quick. But, I mean, nothing's, no news has happened on whether that's going to happen. So, NG Models, let's get it together. Because that's something I'd really like to participate in. I got a lot of stuff saved up. I still have, like, another six. Now seven will be eight with the Delta AP20 in my room. So, I mean, we got to figure this out, NG Models. This got released back in, like, 2021. And here we are in 2024. It still hasn't come out. So the Delta AT19 right here, we are going to start, or I'm going to flip it around so we can start on this side as we always do. Um, this is a very, very nice model uh, from first glance here by NG Models. We're going to start here. Got the cockpit windows right there. Sky Team logo at the main boarding door. The gear right there, Delta logo, uh, Delta logo yes. Uh, the Delta text, the AA319 engines. No clue what the engines are called. If someone does, put them down in the comment section below. Uh, the, as I like to call them, fence tips right there. Got the American flag right there. November 301, November Bravo, the back boarding door. The Delta, oh God. Uh, Delta text, or the, no, I keep trying to say Delta text. Uh, Delta logo right there, horizontal stabilizers. Flip it around to the other side. Pretty much similar. Got horizontal stabilizer, Delta logo, uh, back catering door, November 301, November Bravo, uh, American flag, baggage, door right there, I uh, got the engines right there, if you spin it just a little bit, you can see the main landing gear right there, uh, spin it back, you got overwing exit door, overwing exit, you just see there on the wing, um, the Delta logo, Delta text, uh, baggage door in the front, the main catering door, Sky Team logo, cockpit windows. So, that's a very nice model here by NG Models, the AT19. That looks super outstanding. This is, uh, is this my first AT19? By NG Models, no, it's not. I got the Spirit AT19. 
by G Models. I have a United 1819 that was released way back. That was way before COVID. I want to say 2019, 2018. That that's when the United 1819 was released by Gemini Jets. Have that. Um, I think that's my only two 1819s so, that I have. So nice to have a second one here by NG Models. Uh, but now we are going to go into the Delta 8020, uh, which this one I am super excited to go over. This is November 320 Uniform Sierra. Uh, got a, another one of the little NG Models note cards right there. Hopefully, NG Model does something actually with the program. I have no clue if they are or if they're not. Hopefully, they do. Um, let's see. Are you broken? You are not. Let's go. Um, good to see that. All the models I got in today came in in good condition. That's super nice to see. So, I'm glad to have that. Um, this is going to be a longer video, probably around 15 minutes, I'd say, maybe a bit longer. Uh, let's put the 20 down right there. Zoom in on it. All right. Okay. Um, we're starting here in the front. Got the cockpit windows right there. Sky Team logo, the front loading or loading door. Yep. Uh, the front landing gear. Delta logo, Delta tax right there. Um, the engines, overwing exit doors. You can just barely see the overwing exits right there. Got the fence step winglets. Uh, the radar box right or I think it's no not radar. I think it's the Wi-Fi box right there uh, American flag November 302 uniform Sierra the registration the backboarding door um, Delta logo right there horizontal stabilizer Spin it around to the other side um, Delta logo horizontal stabilizer back catering door Wi-Fi box November 302 uniform Sierra American flag uh, back baggage door, fence steps, the engine, uh, the front baggage door, Delta logo, Delta text, uh, front catering door, front nose land or nose landing gear, uh, Scott Team logo, cockpit windows, and then if we spin around, uh, you just see right there the landing gear. So another nice model here. By NG Models Super Guide. That's three new Delta aircraft added to the collection today. So that's super awesome. Very glad to have all these. Um, much needed assets, especially the AT19, AT20. Um, and then the Unison 5. It never hurts to have another Delta Unison 5. It took so long to release them. Who knows how long it's going to be until they get another one out. So I'm just going to get them all. I'm probably not going to get any more. Two should be fine. But very much needed and super glad I got them. So that's about it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. That was really helping me out. Uh, three awesome models here, both by Gemini Jets and NG Models, uh, especially NG Models. They do an outstanding job on every single model they make. Every one I've collected has been perfect, right on the money. Uh, so they've done a fantastic job. I very much enjoy collecting for them. Still do enjoy collecting from Gemini Jets, just the mold situation is a, it's not as good as NG. I'm going to just say that it's NG Models does a better job quality wise on the models. It might be five bucks more expensive. The five bucks is worth it. I've learned they do a much better job. It is, in my opinion, two times better than what Gemini Jets does. And I don't mean that in a bad way, Gemini Jets. It's just NG outperforms you. Um, so that is a, I mean, super glad to have this. The Delta Unison 5, it's an amazing model. I'm super glad to be able to have not only one, but two. As I mentioned, they're super common aircraft, but the Delta 1819, AT20, I'm super excited to be able to use those in airport updates. As I start doing bigger airports, more busy airports, 
Um, it'll just be something I need in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helped me out. And I will see you all in the next one.